right okay so guys uh, let's explore transmission control tech preview from VMware uh, in collaboration with Heptio so uh, it's solution to pretty much uh, let's say manage and uh, deploy monitor control multiple kubernetes cluster across multiple locations uh, even they are on premise off premise cross cloud uh, uh, in case they are also deployed on the platform of eks uh, uh, or azure platform uh, google kubernetes engine all of them uh, as a platform is when you have your Kubernetes clusters deployed across, you can use transmission control solution. Again, it's the tech preview. Let's go and let's let's try and let's explore. So pretty much now it's a cloud-based solution uh, from perspective of management. Uh, so it's central platform where you can provision you can attach existing uh, kubernetes clusters and um, vmware is integrating of course uh, other solutions from portfolio but main thing is to control and then to have a central control from perspective of uh, users identity management access management um, and to be able to have uh, quite nice uh, enterprise level uh, auditing compliance also part of the uh, let's say strategy or for Tanzu uh, a platform or concept from VMware is to to provide also data protection yeah so uh let's try some provisioning and uh yeah well this is something which is part of the lab all right so we have pre-provisioned environment and um, first part is to access transmission control which is a service in the cloud of VMware which is running on top of the Amazon infrastructure and let's see well right cool so we have uh, this really nice overview and we have concepts uh, of kubernetes structures like clusters or clusters groups or cluster groups so we will do some basic stuff we will uh, just uh, uh, create a new cluster kubernetes cluster and we'll add it under the uh, umbrella of uh, Danzu mission control. So what we have is a kind uh, way of um, creation of Kubernetes. Uh, so you can check this project project uh, online, which is the Kubernetes in Docker, nice, nice way of uh, running Kubernetes in a really fast way. Yeah, so you can check it out. Uh, this stuff. Yeah, and GitHub Kubernetes uh, signs uh, slash kind. Yeah. Uh, so okay. 
cube admin cube admin uh, application is uh, is used from perspective of configuration so then we will be ready to configure access so let's wait a bit CNI is a uh, networking interface which is uh, native for Kubernetes to connect uh, then uh, your Kubernetes nodes, pods and there is also storage part, storage class which is the definition of storage when we are using uh, storage plugins to work with uh, storage physical storage or or vmware vmfs uh, file system vsan or uh, amazon storage if your kubernetes cluster is running on top of the amazon or if it is gcp there is another storage uh, st storage uh, plugin all right so, what we have now is configuration of kubeconfig. All right, so and now Cube CTL should work. Yeah, nice. So we have three nodes. One is master and uh, two workers. Yeah. All right, so what we are going to do is to attach cluster now. And Let's do some nice thing. So cluster group, we have some default. And uh, let's name it cluster, kind cluster. And now we should copy this uh, link and we will apply it against our cluster to deploy agent of transmission control. All right, so and um, let's watch. some pot creation So we'll just wait to have all Tanzu pots running there, which will take some time.
right. Let's verify. All right. Really cool. Okay. Now looks really ready to continue. So, and now we have overview of health of this Kubernetes cluster. So we can see allocated CPU memory and we can see health status of uh, native Kubernetes components as a controller manager, ATCD database of Kubernetes cluster where all persistent configurations, settings are located. API server of uh, master uh, Kubernetes uh, uh, of, of Kubernetes uh, deployment scheduler component. We have two nodes, healthily all of them, and uh, yeah, well, we have also those agents there installed. Yeah, so you know, pretty much there is a concept to keep track of uh, all of our environments from perspective of uh, uh, life cycle and data protection yeah all right so and now uh, yeah well we can just check our nodes the usage of course, uh, we have concept namespaces in Kubernetes. So in case you are creating uh, new namespaces, uh, you can just view all of them here via GUI. Yeah, you can see also pods, deployments, replica sets, all structures, basic stuff, concepts used inside of uh, Kubernetes. Uh, so namespaces, number of pods, labels, which is an important concept of Kubernetes to, to identify applications or to provide or execute, execute update or rolling upgrade of, of your applications. Uh, so, yeah. All right. Um... Then now let's go for uh, for a cluster concept. So we have something like cluster groups. Yeah, so we will create this uh, uh, cluster group, which is the organization structure. Yeah, so uh, then later we have some, uh, some possibilities to control access via this concept. Yeah. So let's create new cluster group. Hands on laps. Yeah, so we can see cluster group um, there which is the default one and now new one. All right. And now let's go for clusters. And let's create new cluster on top of the AWS. All right. So we have some preparation upfront on the on the AWS with AWS uh, account, which is there created, prepared. All right. So let's create new cluster. AWS cluster and now we are going to submit it under the control of our 
cluster group which we created before, which is hands-on labs. All right. So this is what that uh, AWS account pre-created, and yeah, we will just choose different one. Okay. And yeah, let's leave this. Now we have a uh, concept of, uh, let's say, very easy and uh, let's let's call it cheaper way of deployment, which is a development kind of approach where uh, you have uh, just very simple single control plain node. Yeah, so. If you have production, you can tune and have more nodes, workers, or, or masters. This one is with single control plane node. All right, so instance type, well, we are going to choose M5. Yeah, we have larger, but this is the smallest one we can use. All right, uh, now let's go and edit some number of worker nodes we have. We have worker node one setting, so only one worker node. We would like to have two of them. Very nice. Okay. So you can see this is a really, really nice uh, way of deployment because, you know, if you can imagine, you would need the separated uh, access for, for Amazon to create such a structure, you know? So this is much more straightforward, centralized, under control of centralized management of transmission control. So first part was to to attach existing Kubernetes cluster, our own, which was easy. Now also another part to attach existing or, I mean, existing from Amazon, but also to create, as this is one, this one we are working on. So you can create a new cluster in your infrastructure uh, like uh, AWS. This is really, really, I mean, cool. Yeah, so for operation or DevOps, this way of deployment and control is really, really attractive. All right, so we can see still creating. And we can see later we will explore more for concept of namespaces, which is from one perspective, the core concept of Kubernetes uh, to, let's say, divide multiple applications to separate them uh, inside of one Kubernetes cluster. This concept is also used in Tanzu mission control to separate uh, roles uh, across even multiple Kubernetes clusters. 
yeah so we have this concept of uh, of namespaces and those could be used uh, on vSphere on top of the vSphere or they can also control uh, Kubernetes deployments in AWS, Azure, uh, EKS, AKS, or, you know, all of those frameworks, deployments across all of those infrastructure as a services or uh, Kubernetes as a service frameworks. Let's check it out. Nice. So let's check this out. Uh, wait a little bit more. To have our status healthy.
So we can see that really it now have two worker nodes which uh, are created from M5 large format of instance in AWS and also one control plane master node. So we can see now it's healthy. So we are ready to check all parameters and well now we can access this cluster of course so let's try so cube config that's that's uh our important configuration to access com, uh, Kubernetes cluster. And um, let's configure. So we have uh, now Windows used. So let's go for a Windows binary. to have a CLI to access so we have uh, this one downloading in download location of administrator account in your case maybe most probably you are going to locate it in some specific location all right so let's run our powershell screen uh terminal and Let's do some kubectl kubeconfig configuration. All right, so let's explore. And we can see we have access to this cluster on IWS. And yeah, well, we have a bunch of namespaces there. So now let's uh, deploy some application. Yeah, so let's go for it and um, let's explore some YAML definition for our application. Uh, okay, so let's, let's change to
Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's try to change C backslash users administrator. Downloads. All right. And now. All right. So definition of services where we can see uh, the all definitions for Kubernetes deployment, which is uh, uh, deployment as a basic uh, structure to deploy services with uh, setting of replicas, uh, labels, and uh, port, which will be used to exp expose this application. Uh, also, uh, structure of service uh, to use specific uh, selector for application, HTTP service on port 80 and uh, there is another part of application with three replicas uh, nginx uh, uh, image used for ingress and uh, that's pretty much it all right so Let's convert. Let's convert this into the new YAML file. All right, so let's move this to up-to-date API format of this YAML file. And let's deploy this service to our Kubernetes cluster running on top of the AWS. Right, so we have deployment there service for uh, both applications and let's verify pods are running there.
GWS, this one should work. All right, so we have uh, applications running. So perfect, let's explore in Tanzu Mission Control now. How does it look there? And uh, well, we should of course see our namespaces. And also we should see our deployments. So we have deployments. We can maybe, we can maybe just filter deployments and we can filter, for example, T, yeah, which is application and we have there coffee. running there two for two minutes so really this works so let's let's see whether it is the case it's running for two minutes yeah so it's really working well so that's it really cool you can see our pots there you can see all of them in the kind cluster, in AWS cluster, you can filter based on labels. Yeah, so uh, of course, uh, based on namespaces, based on cluster, based on object type. So really cool. That's it.